Hiya, today I'll be showing you how to make a WWE themed duct tape pencil case. So to start off with, you're going to make a sheet of duct tape. I am cheating and actually using the duct tape sheets for this. You need one silver. If you haven't got the sheets, just put some strips together of uh, silver duct tape. And then on the back, use whatever colour you want the inside of the pencil case to be. And me, I'm boring, I chose black. And try and get it a bit straighter than I did. This size is A5 size I'm making, the duct tape sheets. So once you've put the backing on, just cut off any excess so it's a nice, perfect A5 rectangle. And you want to do the same with a gold sheet. So you want a silver sheet and a gold sheet and then whatever colour backing you want. I already made a gold sheet earlier on. Like I say, you don't have to use the sheets. If you did use the sheets, you can use them. You use the backing as well. So just cut off a strip of green duct tape and place it on the backing. If you don't have, if you didn't use the sheets and don't have the backing, you can just place the duct tape onto your cutting board for this next bit. Okay. So for the next bit, I printed out a Money in the Bank logo thingy. I'm just going to place it on top of the duct tape because I've put this on the back and paper I'll be sticking this to the back and paper but if not just stick this onto the cutting board so I'm just going to put a couple of bits of tape to hold it in place so the word money is in the middle of that strip of duct tape and all I'm going to do here is grab my craft knife and I'm going to cut out each letter so I'm just going to use the printout what I've done as a template. I'm just going to cut around each of the letters. And then the words in the bank, I will move down slightly and put it on another strip of duct tape. So if you have got the backing of the duct tape sheet paper, that's really easy to use this. If not, like I say, just cut them out whilst they're stuck to your um, cutting board. So just do that with all the letters. And then you grab the gold sheet that you made and then you're just going to place them on top. Because these still have the backing on them, I'm just working out where I want to put them before they actually stick them down. And then I simply just peel off the backs and stick them down. Obviously if you didn't have the backing, just peel them straight off your cutting board and stick them on in the middle of the duct tape sheet you made. So when you're putting the first letters on, just don't push it down too hard, just in case if you do get it a bit wobbly, like I did, but a bit wonky. Because I didn't press down too hard, it didn't stick properly anyway. Once you've gotten where they want to, then firmly press down to keep the letters in place. Then once you've done this, um, basically do the exact same for the silver section except for instead of obviously putting money in the bank you want the list of Jericho so I did the same thing with that I just printed out the list of Jericho and cut the letters out of black duct tape so this is the template I used for that once you've done both of those you then need a zip then we're going to place this face down along the top of one of the duct tape sheets. Doesn't matter which one you start with. And then we're just going to staple along that top edge. Make sure you don't get the staples too close to the middle of the zip, otherwise the zip will have trouble working later on. It might get stuck. So just staple right across that edge. You can never have too many staples with this. So once that's done, just fold over the top slightly so the zip then lies straight. And then we're just going to use a strip of duct tape to hold it down. So you're just covering the staples with the duct tape. Again, make sure the duct tape doesn't go too far to the, into the middle. 
and we're just going to fold the edge over and stick it down. I've done this like a million times, this kind of adding the zip, but I still can't. Um, like this bit where I fold it down, I still end up getting a crease. <laughs> Every time, I don't know why. Actually, it's only when I'm filming. If I'm making one of these off camera, I don't usually get the crease. But for some reason, I film, I always get that one big crease in it. If you do, just um, kind of push it down as much as you can. So then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other sheet that you made. So this one is going to be the list of Jericho one. Just line it up with the edge of the zip. Make sure it's lined up with the other side of your um, pencil case as well. And do the same thing we just done. Just literally staple it across one edge, fold it over and duct tape it down. Then just cut off any excess duct tape you may have. And there's not much to do after this. So this is what it looks like so far. All the time just cut off the excess duct tape that hangs over the side. So all we have to do now is staple it together. So you want to open the zip, nearly full, nearly fully open it, not like halfway like I did, you want it fully open, and literally just staple around the edge. Sorry, my camera conked out and I couldn't film that bit. But you literally just, all three sides just cover with um, staples. And then all that's left to do is grab some more strips of duct tape and cover the staples. So you just put half your duct tape onto one side, push it down, flip it over and then fold over the duct tape. You want to do this across the three edges that you stapled. And then the last bit and the bit I hate the most, turn it inside out. <laughs> once you've done this bit, all you have to do is literally turn it inside out. Um, again, take your time with this, you don't want to rush it. It took me, I don't know how long it took me, it felt like forever. <laughs> but just go slow, a little bit at a time, and eventually it will come out properly. <laughs> just keep poking those corners out and you'll get there eventually. And that's it, you're done. So I hope you enjoyed this, if you like wrestling give this a thumbs up <laughs> and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye!